over Xanax pills is what police say led a teenager to shoot and kill her boyfriend. I dropped the ball and it was, it was like the turning point in my life. It could be anywhere from we knew guys that were a couple years older that had them to sell or we knew parents that had medicine cabinets with them in it. 16 middle school students were hospitalized Thursday morning after taking Xanax. They tried to be in denial, but he finally told me that he was going through a depression type and he had to pop pills. Man, he started hanging around these little youngsters. They popping bars, you know, guys selling bars at school. And next you know, the, man, he started changing, like just changing. And it may be responsible for the death last month of 10 year old Alton Banks from Overtown. I picked him up from his brother's house and he was just, he got in the car and he couldn't hold his head up, he couldn't talk, and he couldn't even hold, like he was dozing, nodding off, like, and his dad was like, no, that's a Xanax high. Full of them balls. I'm trying to head with the police. I thought it was a burglar sneaking in the house, I'm gonna shot him. I really couldn't talk to my son to find out what really happened. They had him on life support. I had come about as close to dying as you possibly can. You get so used to being able to save your kids from anything, you know, from bullies, from adults. You're so used to it and it's like they get grabbed into this life and you can't help them no more. 